Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. I'm not gonna get into all the introduction. I'm just, this is a continuation of another video. So I'm just gonna jump right in and start talking to you guys about Second Market and why I feel like Second Market is very important and vital to the um, flow of this community. Um, so number one, um, a lot of us, we need to sell our old dolls to buy new dolls. And so that's how, you know, it helps. The first market, um, of course, you know, thrive a lot of times and keep having repeat customers because they'll come back and they'll buy another baby. So a lot of people in this community kind of understand that concept, but then there are a couple people that I think they don't realize the big picture. A lot of times people do stuff and say stuff, you know, just being spiteful, not really thinking it all the way through. Um, or they just don't care because it doesn't directly affect them, um, until it does. Um, and so when I see people saying, oh, don't, you can't sell your baby for this, or you shouldn't, the second market, you should be dropping the price, or you should be this, and you should be that, and just steady attacking second market, I think that, um, you know, yeah, so, okay, you get this collector and she buys this doll and she pays, you know, $2,500 for it. And she gets the doll and she's like, wow, this doll is amazing. Um, it's better than anything I ever had. <laughs> and when she gets ready to sell it, there's no more like it out there on the market available right now. So she decides, okay, well, I'm going to sell it for $3,000. So she's like, okay, so I'm going to sell this for $3,000 because, you know, Marianne over here got a doll over here for sale for $4,500. And this going to help me get closer to my goal to get this doll. Now where the second person that's buying that doll may feel like oh my gosh why am I having to pay a higher price they may or may not feel that way some of us know we're paying more than what they originally paid but because we can't get it anywhere else just like people do with these vinyl kits blank vinyl sold out kits um we we go ahead and eat the price because it's something we really want I'll get into that on another whole another day or if I have time but um so they, they, they go to sell the doll. So now they're able to go and put the difference and get this other doll. Um, if they have to keep losing money, let's say they got the doll for $2,500, but because the, the majority people say you can't be selling your doll for what you paid, you have to drop the value. And so now they paid $2,500. The doll is in immaculate condition. Nothing's wrong with it. Coming with a beautiful box opening, um, being shipped safe and secured. And so now they're going to, they, they put it on the market for like $1,800. They lose $700 plus whatever shipping, PayPal fees, and whatever extra they put in the box. So now they're out of like eight nine $900 less. If people keep losing money like that, it's very hard for them to keep up with buying. And some of you guys may say that's not my problem. Okay, great. Now don't get me wrong. There are some dolls that, you know, when they go on second market, I feel like, when you get the doll, you look at the doll, you know you overpaid. I don't feel comfortable really, like me personally, charging more than what I paid for it. Or um, sometimes I don't even feel comfortable asking what I paid for it when I know the doll is just not worth that. And I've done that a lot of times in, in the past. I've had dolls and some of my friends actually, and I've been straight up honest with them like, hey, I, I don't want to want this doll and they're like oh I love it and I'm like I don't and I don't think it's all that and um I pay I feel like I paid too much and they're like well how much you paid oh I'll pay that and I'm like no just give me xyz <laughs> but that's just me but I don't think that it should be a rule set that people cannot sell their dolls for what they paid and I feel like the more we push that narrative the more we're hurting second market and the more we're hurting the uh, the artists be able to sell their dolls quicker or people on second market be able to move their dolls. I don't really stand behind people like boosting the price higher unless it was a situation where like it was a giveaway baby or a raff raffle baby or um, it was discounted because they are repeat customer or because they got a deal and but this is you know I still feel like that at that point yeah then they should sell it at market value 
but just to be like buying dolls and flipping them oh i can get it real cheap here so i'm gonna go and get it for 500 and then sell it for you know 900 and just keep doing that then i think that's where the community started to complain about that type stuff is because there were people that were doing it like a career you know what i mean they were almost like a drug dealer like they were just like flipping you know flipping 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 um and again it's none of our business but um i think that's why some people be like you know this person just you know steady taking advantage of people on second market because you do kind of look i i will say from both sides of the coin I, sometime i do when i see second market i'm hoping that i'm gonna be able to catch something at a cheaper price that i wouldn't normally be able to you know get but if i can get that baby um i can get the artist's newer work say you see a doll that you like and this artist painted this doll like three years ago and the collector is asking the same price as what the artist is charging today and i and that artist's work is accessible because that's another thing you might not be able to still get that artist's work today um then i would probably just spend my my money directly with the artist um but again like i said everything is personal preference but i just wanted to put that out there just kind of get your wheels turning and think about sec how important second market is because just imagine if every doll that you get you could never resell it or you had to lose 60 to 70 percent of what you paid you would just eventually stop being able to collect or stop collecting unless you just got money just flowing like that um and most of us do not if we be honest um, and I know, like I said, I do know that there are, um, there are artists that, um, I mean, uh, collectors that do have the money to just spend. So, and if you want to be a blessing to somebody and, you know, give a great price on the doll and give people a chance to really get a high quality doll at a lower price, that's great too. I'm not talking against that. I'm just talking about people that are actually trying to sell their doll because they want to buy a new doll. Or trying to sell the doll because they just need to sell the doll. You know what I mean? Um, I I just think we should, you know, rethink that process of, you know, bashing people with second marketing. So I was getting a little wind and a little background story of like Reborns.com. I've not been to that site. I can't really speak too much on that subject. But I know they were saying that a lot of the artists were saying they don't want collectors on there because of the whole counterfeit thing and stuff like that and i think that's crazy um artists fellow artists <laughs> hello <laughs> hello <laughs> we need our we need our customers to be able to sell their dolls so that they can come and buy new dolls from us so can y'all please stop that <laughs> like <laughs> for real for real like I, I i don't understand it like i think Sometimes people let greed and just being selfish get in the way of everything. Like, really think this thing through. You know what I mean? So, anyway. Again, like I said, I think second market is great. Um, I will also, let me add this though. My customers that buy directly from me, I really appreciate them tremendously because they buy directly from me you know there are some people that buy my dolls but they only will buy them on second market and I'm glad that they're able to experience my work and I appreciate them for you know supporting my collectors or whatever but there is a different uh let's see there's a different level of appreciation when the money is hitting directly in my pocket but i appreciate everybody because like i said if you didn't buy the baby from my customer my customer couldn't come back to me and buy another baby from me so where it didn't directly you know help me feed my kids it indirectly kind of did still um, if that customer came back to me, you know what I mean? So it don't always work like where they sell your baby and come back and buy a baby from you. They may sell your baby to go buy another baby from some other artist. But it, it, the cycle, it, it works. It still works because same thing for that artist. They may sell another artist's work just to come buy a baby from me. So either way it go, 
you know, we're all feeding off of each other. So it's the circle of life, baby. <laughs> don't stop the growth. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't know. Anyway, that was just one of my crazy thoughts and I thought I would share that with you guys. Um, I hope that you guys are having a fabulous day. I hope that you are just like being your best authentic you and just just living life. You know what I mean? Just living life. Um, enjoy your collection. Enjoy your hobby. Um, however that may look for you. Enjoy it. You know what I mean? enjoy it we you know life is so short you know one day you're here the next day you're gone you might as well do everything that you want to do <laughs> while you can so see you guys later thanks for watching